the scariest day of my life. It was bad. I mean, the shark really wanted to tear that thing apart. It was angry. Filmmaker Ben Crop is used to dicing with danger, but when a three-metre tiger shark attacked his dinghy, even Ben thought his luck may have run out. Once the tiger makes up his mind to bite, he doesn't stop. You know, he like, becomes like a feeding machine, and even though it's a tasteless dinghy, he still wouldn't stop. This shark was just going crazy. Trina Fleischman was in the dinghy with Ben when the shark pounced. I froze. It was just... I just froze. It was like one of those nightmares you have where you just freeze and you just can't move. That day, Ben hoped to film tiger sharks on a reef off far north Queensland when he got more than he bargained for. We saw 15 tiger sharks, all between about oh, three to four metres. And one of them started following the dinghy, actually plodding along behind the dinghy. We thought, oh, this guy looks friendly, we'll film him. So we started following him in the dinghy, got quite close and uh, uh, very close. And then suddenly the, the tiger turned and bumped the dinghy. Whether he charged or bumped, I don't know. I know the first thought I had was, this shouldn't be happening. This should not be happening. John Harding was steering the boat, trying to get Ben as close as possible for a good shot. Then I lost sight of the shark. It's gone under the out of sight part in front of the boat, behind, in front of Ben. And what the darn stupid thing did then, it decided to change direction and go under the boat. And that's where it charged, whether it was attacking us or whether it was trying to get away, I don't know. But I stopped the motor and I thought, where is it? And then all of a sudden, that's when I saw this head come out of the water on my left between Trina and I. I just knew I had to keep my balance, so I just turned my head slowly. And as soon as I turned around, all I could see was this big, huge face. And that's when I screamed. Well, this is where the shark bit. And Trina was sitting right here where my hand is. The dog was sitting here peering over. I'm up there, John's at the back steering. And I mean, he, he took many, many bites and then just started to roll and tear a metre long stretch here. Not, ju not just this outer skin, but, but deflated the inner skin as well. You know, put a lot of teeth marks in there all the way through. And you can imagine that this boat just slowly deflated down. For five terrifying minutes, the 10-foot shark wouldn't let go. One side of the dinghy deflated. Luckily, they could see a boat of local fishermen in the distance. And I thought, but they were our only hope, really. That's how I felt. So we all yelled. And, yeah, they came over. The shark's still hanging onto the boat. So imagine what they saw. And they knew it was Ben because we'd spoken to them earlier. One of them had said, are you Ben Crop? And uh, so here they are, they motor over, and here's Ben Crop's boat with a 10-foot shark hanging on it. John, were there moments there when you thought you'd end up in the water and you would become shark bait? Yes, but because it was a very calm day, and uh, I think that was what was in our fact, uh, our saviour. If there had been any sort of chop, uh, the slop coming aboard the boat would have filled it up and we would have been in the water with this thing. And a cranky shark like that, no. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. I didn't want to be in the water with this thing. As terrifying as this experience was, it won't stop any of this crew getting close to sharks again. No, I'll, I'll be back, but uh, I'll be more cautious, <laughs> much more cautious. Do you ever worry that uh, your nine lives might be up next time? No, I, I've, I've been doing this for over 20 years and, and that's probably the worst mishap I've had with a tiger. And so I guess another 20 years before the next one happens. <laughs>